Hi, um, my name is Kiku. Kiku Sensei. Uh, you can call me Kiku Sensei. This is, uh, you can see, this is a crescent mom. That's a crescent mom is a Kiku. Japanese they call Kiku. So that's why this, uh, my name is Kiku Sensei, crescent mom, you can remember. So I'm gonna teach, um, this history is, um, I was thinking, I was reading this, uh, book. I don't know, you have read, probably not. This is uh, talking about, um, uh, in Japan is, um, used to be 1839 to 1854. They did have isolation, the country over 200 years. No one can go, no one can go. Only, uh, almost one country, actually the four country could go, get in, uh, the period of time is the Netherlands. Netherlands. So, I'm sorry my broken English. So I was like, uh, you know, um, I came here, I raised in Japan, um, I came here to United States. That's why I, my English is not so good, but uh, my Japanese is perfect. Um, anyway, that's um, isolation period. Only Netherlands could came to Japan uh, having a trading. So I was reading this book. It was really interesting. Why is it dead in Japan for isolated? Nobody can go. No one can get in except a little four country and mostly Netherlands. Netherlands. Um, because of two reasons. One is religions. Because many, uh, ship, shipping is coming, uh, Christian. Like a Spain and a Dutch, I think, um, came for, you know, talking about the Christian religion. That's the one thing. And the second thing is the trading. They try to sail and get the money. So that's why Japanese Edo period, Edo Jirai, that they call Edo period, they close, totally close in Japan all, all over. So no one can get in. So I was reading this book, but uh, some, you know, whale, not whale watching, like a whale ship kind of went to Japan to get uh, uh, some, um, um, stopped by when doing that whale. Um, shipping. So some people went in, but uh, they couldn't get to communicate because no one can speak English, no one can speak Japanese. So it was really inter interesting what they, you know, communicate. So that um, kind of a, uh, wanted to you guys to know how we can, you know, exchanging language and stuff. So that's why I was trying to teach history and um, that's a reputation. I, I, I actually, I'm teaching already um, American people in J to teach Japanese. So reputation is really good to brain exercise. So I need you to, to do reputation and reading, of course. That reading is really important and also writing. They do hiragana and katakana and also kanji. Uh, they do little by little. It's really tough to learn writing. So, and a conversation, of course, we wanted to communicate each other. So I wanted to teach you guys, uh, conversation and reading a book. That's interesting because I draw the picture myself to make this book. Little by little, because I have to put this, you know, coloring pen. So many. I do pen and a pencil, so I'm doing making for you. So let's enjoy. First of all, um, I wanted to say, introduce, konnichiwa. That's your name. Uh, I'm gonna use this pen. Konnichiwa, that's it's gonna be your name. If your name is Kate, Katie. Katie-san, that's your name. Konnichiwa. That's 
probably you heard konnichiwa and the Japanese people always say konnichiwa, konnichiwa. But the konnichiwa, Katie-san. And this yellow portion I wanted you to say. The white ones I ask, konnichiwa, Katie-san. And you're gonna say, hi. Konnichiwa. That is gonna be my name, Kiku, Chrysanthemum Sensei. But I forgot to put the se. Sorry. Sing it, Sensei. I'm gonna, next time I'm gonna fix, okay? Konnichiwa. That's the daytime. Konnichiwa. That's we are gonna say it. And I would like to know your condition. You, are you fine or you're not so good today? So I'm going to ask Katie-san wa genki desu ka? That's your name, Katie-san. That's if your name has a Katie, that's a Katie-san. If your name is Max, Max-san wa genki desu ka? If your name is what? That's your name. If I ask, genki desu ka? And you can say this a yellow portion, you're gonna say, Katie wa genki desu. If you're fine like this boy, Katie wa genki desu. But, if you are not uh, sleepy or doesn't feel so good, you can say, Katie wa genki dewa arimasen. Katie wa Genki dewa arimasen. The two things. So let's practice this one. I'm gonna ask your name. San wa genki desu ka? Okay, that's your turn. If you're fine, genki desu. If you're not fine, what? Genki dewa arimasen. Very good. All right, let's move on. Okay, and uh, lesson before lesson, uh, we're gonna say this word. You remember this word? It's really important. Yoroshiku, yoroshiku, onegai, onegai, shimasu. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. That's the all, I think almost the Japanese um, school. They're going to say before lesson, yoroshiku onegai shimasu. If you could say, they're going to be, oh my goodness, you know the manner, you know the Japanese way. So they're going to know. So yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Your turn. All right, this is rectation. It's really important in your brain. You don't have to um, understand, just to memorize like a song. You know, if you sing a song like the same thing, they call it Rosho, Rosho. Okay, some people already know, but some are not. This is a basic um, hiragana, Japanese uh, pronunciation and writing. So they call hiragana. Hi, la, ga, na. That's hiragana, right? So this is the vowels. A, i, u, e, o. So this is a, is a, i, is e, u, is a, e, is a, and the u, is u, e, is a, o, is o, like this. Okay, and the k comes, k and a is ka. K, K, and I is ki. K, and U is ku. K, and K, E is K. K, and O is K, and ko. Like a K, O. K, O is ko. Okay, like a, maybe you can hear keiko. Uh, that's a Japanese common name, ko. You see, like a keiko, reiko, and uh, the girl's name. Okay, it's that S is a sa, S and A is sa, S and I is she, 
S and U is su. S and E is se. S and O is so. Right? Let's read T. Comes next. Let's see that. Read it together. Or after me. Ta. Chi. Tsu. Te. To. Coming in. Na. Ni. Nu. Ne. No. H. Ha. He. Hu. He. Ho. M. Ma. Mi. Mu. Me. Mo. Y. Ya. I. U. E. Yo. R. La. Di. Du. De. No, this is really difficult. R. Because we don't want to say R and La. Ra. We have to say like, a, we have to use a different tongue muscle. Ra. Di. Du. De. Ro. Right? W. So we're going to say Wa. I. U. E. O. And the last one is how to close mask. Mm. Like this. Try. Mm. Very good. Very good. Okay. Next, we're going to do like um, ha and the same ha, but we do see double dots over here. Ba, ha, ba. And also have a little circle over here. That's a pa, like a P sound, pa. Ha, ba, pa. All right. We're going to read not double dot. Ka, ki, ku. Ko. All right, it comes G has a double dot. Ga, gi, gu, ge, go. This is no regular one. S and A is sa, chi, su, se, so. Comes Z has a double dot. All right. Za, ji, zu, ze. So, very good. T is a regular one. T and A is a ta. Remember that? All right. Ta, chi, su, te, to. All right, comes what? That's a double dot. Right, all right. Ta, ji, zu, de, do. Okay, that's H and B and P has a three kind. One is regular, one has a double dot, one has a little circle. Okay, let's read. Ha, he, hu, he, ho. Double dot. Ba, bi, bu, be, bo. Okay, circle. Ba, P, 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 Good. Okay, this, uh, this one has, um, like this. This is a size. That's a regular size, and this is a little smaller. Regular, and a little smaller. Regular, and a little smaller. That's we call key and small, yeah. That's a not kia because this is a small. We're gonna do like a cat. Try cat. Okay, next one is a q. The other one is a kyo because ki and a small yo. That's a really difficult. You need to maybe practice um, many times. Okay, that's ki and ya. This is ki, not ki, k and ya. Like a ki, ya, bigam, kya. Okay, ki, and this one's why you, you is you, ki and you, because you is a small, so we're gonna say not ki you, kyu. K, 
Okay. And K and Y O is Ki and Yo. Not Kyo, because of the last one is Yo is a small. What do you think? Right. That's a Kyo. Like a Kyoto. Kyoto. I remember Kyoto, not Kyoto. 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 Okay. And S and Y A is S. Y A is Shia. But not Shia. Because the last one is small, that's called Sha. Okay. Same thing. Shu. Sho. Okay. T. Cha. Chu. Cho. Very good. Nya. Nyu. Nyo. Hya. Hyu. Hyo. Good. M and Y A. Mia. Right? Not Mia. Mia. Mu. Mio. Right? Okay. R. Dia. Du. Dio. That's right. Oh, my goodness. This is a double dot and um, small letter. It's a complicated. Okay, that's G, G is G, 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 and Y, A. That's a Gya. Gya. Not Gya. Gya. Gyu. Gyo. Ja. Ju. Jo. Bya. Bu. Bio. And this is a circle that's a P. P sound. P. Pya. Pyu. Pyo. Alright. Did you get it? It's really, it's difficult. But if you could speak these three, like a kya and a double dot and the regular ones, all that you can, if you can read, you can pronounce, I think you're going to be perfect reading. You can do hiragana. But we do have a katakana and a kanji also. So we're going to learn later on, not, not this time. It's too much. Okay. Uh, this is Longo. That's from China. A great teacher was teaching. It's, um, I think it's, I don't know, I forgot that in China came from Japan, but uh, we learn what we're gonna be. Longo. That's the meaning I'm gonna teach, uh, later on, but let's read this one. Shi iwaku, the great teacher said, Toku konarazu, kanarazu, tonari ari. I'm gonna read slowly. You can repeat after me. Shi iwaku, toku konarazu, kanarazu, tonari ari. Okay, so I'm gonna do two, one more. That's a she iwaku great teacher said. Okay, she iwaku ashita ni michi o kikaba yube ni shisto mo kanari. Okay, just read this time. I'm gonna teach, um, explain the meaning later on. Okay, one more time. Shi iwaku, ashita ni michi o kikaba, yube ni shisto mo kanari. Okay, good. Okay, this is a, a mouth exercise. Okay, they call kuchi is a mouth. Kuchi no taiso. That's mouth exercise. That's important. This is a sound. A. I. U. E. O. This is last one. Mm, mm, mm. 
Okay, try open your mouth. Let's do it. A e i u e o a o. Ka ke ki ku ke ko ka ko. Sa se si su se so sa so. Ta te chi su te to ta to. Na ne ni nu ne no na no. Ha he hi hu he ho ha ho. Ma me mi mu me mo ma mo. Ya e i yu e yo ya yo. La le li du de ro la ro. Wa e i u e o wa o. Good. The top one, I said a.、Ah. This is a、ah. shape. A、ah. become like a ka a、ah. sa a、ah. ta. The top one become a、ah. shape. The second one, that's a e is a i u e e. This one's e k e s e t e n e e. Like a same, like a um not. Um, how do you say top to bottom, not horizontal. Horizontal become a same mass shape. So this way. Okay. All right, this is also exercise. This is a exercise, a i u e o, but we're gonna read this sentence. This, this has a no meaning, just to memorize your map、uh, in your brain. If you could, good. アメンボ赤いな、あいうえお。浮きもに、小エビも、泳いでる。かきのき、くりのき、かきくけこ。だつねくせずかきくけこ。き、けき。きつつき、こつこつ、かれけやき。ささげに、すをかけ、さしすせそ。そのうを、あさせで、さしました。とてとてたったと、とびたった。なめくじのろのろ、なにぬねの。何度にぬめって何にでばる。はとぽっぽほろほろ。はひふへほ。ひなたのおへやにゃ。せいひかんじゃすもれら。にあのすもや。にゃ。ふえをふく。まいまい。ねじまき、まみむめも。Maybe, um, this is the first time we're gonna do half. We're gonna do, um, uh, half. Last half is the next time. Okay, this is yomu. It's reading, not reading a book. This is, I wanted you to read hiragana. So. I made up by illustration. I'm sorry, I wasn't so good. That's, they call, a i u e o a. That's a. Okay, that's a has a microphone over here. That's announcer, you know, like MC. People talk about talking, a n a u n s a a n a u n s a is like this, a having a microphone. Goes like this. This is the left hand having right hand like this. So they said, ah, so this is ah. Try memorize, like a picture memorize. Oh, ah, was, looks like this. Okay, so zugi is the next. That's a e. This is a e u e o e. E looks like a、um, eel, two eels. Do you know this is eel? Is unagi. Maybe you like or not. And sushi, we can eat. Eel. 
Okay, two eels become e. Okay, this is e. Alright, next is writing. Kaku, I wanted to also you guys to writing to practice. This is na ma e. Nama e is name. If you can write your name, write it down on your paper and pen with you. If you don't have, we're gonna learn you and me too soon. So that's a namae. That's your name. So let's practice today. Let's do a and the announcer. Anaunsa, announcer. Like uh, announce people says a. See this as a microphone area. So before writing, can you read over here? Harau and tomeru. Tomeru. So the three things it's really important to write. Uh, haneru is like a jumping. Harau is like a not stopping. You have to do like this. And tomeru is you gotta stop, not like this shallow. Okay, this is a tomeru, this is a harau. So if you learn first time, it's perfectly, you can, you can write beautiful Japanese uh, character you can write. This is haneru. Okay, haneru is a little jumping. Tomeru is gonna stop. Okay, harau is it's getting like this. Okay, like a fading. A has a tomeru and harau. All right, let's write it down together. Get the pen and the paper, please. Okay. A is here. And next is like this. I wasn't so good, okay? One, two, three. Okay, let's practice. One, two, Three. One, two, three. That's a ah. Remember this a microphone guy that has an announcer. Ah, 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 ah. Okay? This is two eels. E. One is over here, but I got to haneru. It's a little jump. And E. 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 One jump. E. One jump e that's a e e doesn't jump but we're gonna jump over here All right Sugi is a next next okay so that we came a conversation that's a kai wa that's a kai wa is conversation let's talk you and me okay this greeting, aisatsu, is a greeting. When you see the people, you're going to say something, hi, how are you doing? Like that. When you see in the morning, good morning, what do you say? Some you know, some are not. Okay. Good morning is ohayo. More pride is ohayo gozaimasu, is more pride. But the ohayo is enough. Ohayo. Okay, when you see in the morning, um, when you go to a restaurant, you see Japanese people, you can say Ohayo or Ohayo gozaimasu. That's a good. Okay, next, hello. Good afternoon. So we're gonna say Ko n ni chi wa. That's they said ha, but uh, that we call wa. I'm going to teach you more um, next time. It's really complicated. This has a ha. Why are we going to call wa? Because um, sentence, we do like um, this pronunciation, wa. Wa. Okay, wa. But when you see the word and some things, you said ha. Very confusing. But this is just a conversation. Memorize konnichiwa. Okay, day time, konnichiwa. How about in the morning? Ohayo or Ohayo gozaimasu. Daytime. 
こんにちは。How about a good, af- good evening at night? When you see at night, people, good evening, good evening, how are you doing? That's what I said. こう、ん、that's the same thing, same こん、こん。But, こん、ば、ん、は、that's also, we're gonna say は、こんばんは。That's at night, evening. When you see, after sun is down, you're gonna say, こんばんは Daytime, こんにちは In the morning, おはよう That three things today's conversation. Remember that. Okay, this is reading a book. Reading a book. I'm gonna read.、Um, try to Um, understand what is going on this book. Some word you heard, some word you never heard the first time, but this story is really interesting. Urashima Taro. Okay, Urashima Taro. Mukashi Mukashi, Aru Tokoro ni. 浦島太郎という若者がいました。Long, long ago, this is a Japanese folk tale. Long, long ago, there is a, the,、uh, there is a man whose name is 浦島太郎 That's probably him. 浦島太郎は年を取ったお母さんと一緒に海辺で暮らしていました。浦島太郎、uh, lived with an elderly mom. Right? This is mom. Lived together in the, by the ocean, by the ocean side. 海辺で暮らしていました。<笑> yeah. And he said, お母さん、今日も魚をたくさん取ってきますから、待っていてください。Probably he's a fisherman. He said to mom, I'm gonna get lots of fish today, so please stay here. That's, he said to his mom. 釣り竿を持って浜辺に来ると、over here. 子供たちが一匹の魚、小さな亀を捕まえていじめていました。When he came by the ocean with his, this is a fishing pole. Fishing pole is a tsurizao over here. Tsurizao を持って、uh, Urashima Taro came into the ocean side. So, a little turtle was beaten by those three kids. かわいそうに思った Urashima Taro は子供たちに言いました。He felt so bad. He told these kids. 私が釣った魚をあげるから、その子亀を譲ってくれるかな ?So he said to little three kids, I can give you my fish, whatever I got today, so please give me this little turtle for me.But little kids says, Oh yes, maybe they did it.They gave a little turtle to him, he lost all the fish. さあ、海へ帰りなさい。二度と、うん、捕まってはいけないよ。He said, go back into the ocean, so don't cut them any,、um, next time. Never. You never get, you know, cut by the kids, that they said. すると、小亀は嬉しそうに海へ帰っていきました。And then, the little turtle, 小亀 little turtle, was really happy, so he went down into the ocean. That was good. He's very kind. So, 何日か後に浦島太郎が海で釣りをしていると大きな亀が近づいてきました。Little while later,、uh, 浦島太郎 was fishing in the ocean, not little turtle. 大きな亀。The big turtle came into, toward him. And he said, 浦島太郎さん、この間は
こがめを助けてくださりありがとうございましたお礼に竜宮城へお連れいたしましょう The big turtle said to 浦島太郎 Thank you so much、uh, the other day you saved my little turtle こがめ is my little turtle this is おがめ is a big turtle おやがめ is a big turtle こがめを助けてくださりありがとうございました。Thank you so much for saving little turtle. お礼に竜宮城へお連れいたしましょう。So now my turn, I can take you to 竜宮城 is a special place in the ocean. So 浦島太郎 said, 竜宮城へ私を連れて行ってくれるのですか ?Oh my goodness, you can take me to a special place we call 竜宮城 And the big turtle says, はい、お連れいたします。乙姫様がお待ちです。さあ、私の背中にお乗りください。Uh, 竜宮城、uh, there is a queen, I think. 乙姫様が、queen is waiting for you, so you can hop in my back. So I can take you to 竜宮城。That's a big turtle says, 浦島太郎。So, what's it's gonna be next? Oh, today is the end. So, I'm gonna write, draw the picture and teach you guys what's next. So, we'll see what's gonna be Urashima Taro and the Big Toro and the Ryugujo gonna be. Okay. So, I would like to you review What you learn today, that it's also important to learn many subjects, not only, you know, learn another language. So this is important. 今日の授業で today's lesson, 何が好きでしたか over here, 何が好きでしたか is, what did you like? What did you like? 何が好きでしたか So you can kind of going back in, what did you like? I think you like a, ウラシマタロ、my illustration, because I did it. Okay, and one more question. 何を学びましたか What did you learn? Something new. I wanted to do one every day, a little by little, you learn something like a double dot. I didn't know the double dot. I didn't know like a, um, a i u e o like a mouse shape. Anything okay, you can think back. And you can learn. That's really good. That's my target. You learn little by little, not everything one time. It's impossible. Okay, now is goodbye time. Okay, that's bye. Sayonara. Have you heard sayonara? It's sayonara. Goodbye. Sayonara. I'm going to ask Katie san. Okay, that's your name is. If your name is Katie, I'm going to go. ケイティさん、また来週。グッバイ、ケイティさん。See you next week, I said. さよなら、ケイティさん。また来週。And ケイティ says, or you said, this is a yellow portion you're gonna say to me. はい。聞く。Remember this chrysanthemum? 先生。聞く is a flower, chrysanthemum. That's my name. また、来週 see you next week. Like this. I think you,、uh, this is the first time my, I'm sorry my,、um, English is not perfect, but I can speak Japanese perfectly and teach you. So please enjoy next time. I will, I am looking forward to see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. And learn with me. Thank you. And after that, we're gonna say before, よろしくお願いします。Now we finish. Conclusion is done. ありがとうございました。Can you say no, ありがとう We're gonna say ありがとうございました That's really good manners. ありがとうございました